In this video tutorial, we'll take a look at modules, which are really the core of Canvas. Now, one of the things that a lot of people are wondering is what in Canvas is the difference between pages versus modules? And the big thing is that modules, in essence, are really just storage bins or folders. They're a different way for you to organize your material. Now, having known that, we may ask, how are we possibly going to organize our modules? Now, I'll show you two quick, most likely examples. The first is by choosing to organize it in terms of week. It might be week one, week two, week three. It's every single time a student comes, they know what is organized or expected within that week. Or you may choose to organize it by units, unit one, unit two, or potentially you might even consider it to have it by quarter or by semester. In essence, how you choose to organize your modules is up to you. Now, how do we go about creating these modules? We're gonna take a look at a sample. Now, when I click on my course and I go to modules, I will see a screen that most of you will be faced with, which is this. There is nothing here yet. How do I create a module? Simply come up to here on the plus symbol, add module, and give it a name. Again, you how you choose to organize is up to you. In this example, we'll take a look at adding week one. Now, this button lock until is really important. Why? because it gives you the option to be able to set prereqs, meaning what? A student may need to complete certain modules prior to moving on to the next, or students may have to wait until a certain date until a module becomes available. So I can kind of work ahead getting my students ready until it's ready to be released to them. For now, we're gonna bypass that, but just know that that's what that button entails. I'm gonna go ahead and add my module, and great, I have nothing here yet. One of the big things I want to point out to you is this symbol up here. That's the pu publish symbol. Unless you click on that, all of your hard work and everything you've created within your module will not be available to students. You have to go ahead and click that. Now, my recommendation would be that you probably hold off until you're completed or at least mostly completed because once you click publish, students will be able to see even potentially your unfinished work. Now, I have nothing in my module outside of my title. I'm going to go ahead and click the plus symbol to add things. Now, what you're able to add is pretty limitless here. Again, these are the folders or the bins that you're going to dump all of your things for students to access. You could click to add an assignment, a quiz, a file, a page, a discussion. Again, what you choose to add is up to you. We're going to have other videos that you can take a look at, at more in depth on adding these assignments, but just note that that's what you can add to a module. Another way to add to your modules is the drag and drop feature. I'm going to quickly minimize my screen here and take these two documents from my desktop and simply drag them over here and Canvas will begin to populate those into my module. Thanks for taking a look and take care.